Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing the Malachite Butterfly. Also known simply as the Malachite, this butterfly shares its name with the mineral. Both Malachite and the Malachite appear bright green, though the arthropod doesn't keep the hue for long. Within a few days of emerging from its chrysalis, the Malachite butterfly's brilliant green fades in the sun, leaving behind something still spectacular, just not as intense. Malachite butterflies get their color from pigments. In some butterfly species, the pigments are produced by the butterflies themselves, or they can be acquired through the diet, similar to the pink hue of a flamingo. The blue morpho is an example of a butterfly whose color comes from structure. This is why the blue morpho has a more iridescent sheen compared to the malachite's solidly saturated color. It's also why the malachite's color can fade, while the morpho's remains. Malachite butterflies may be green in color to mimic the similar-looking scarce bamboo page. This butterfly is also green, but doesn't taste good, so predators tend to avoid it. By mimicking this unpalatable insect, the malachite is afforded some protection from predators as well. However, they're still eaten by birds. Malachite butterflies range from northern South America through Central America and just barely into the southern United States, appearing in the extreme south of Texas and Florida. There are also rare sightings in southern Arizona. The malachite is a somewhat larger butterfly with a wingspan of just over 3 inches on average. They live from sea level to over 4,500 feet in elevation, favoring forest edges and glades. They're also seen in parks and backyards, spending their time around green plants with which they easily blend in. Malachite butterfly adults eat nectar, as well as dung, like the droppings from bats, and rotten fruit, like bananas and mangoes. Their larvae eat leaves. These caterpillars have a threatening aura with their black body and bright red spikes, but they're more hermity than you might imagine. Malachite butterfly larvae spend most of their time on the underside of leaves, hoping to avoid contact not just with predators, but with basically anyone else. Even when prodded, these caterpillars don't move around much, preferring to stay in place and simply eat their greens. Malachite butterfly eggs and their chrysalis, on the other hand, retain that green hue. These butterflies lay their eggs on the underside of leaves, singly or in small groups, numbering fewer than five. Their chrysalis is a translucent green with two black horns along the bottom and an array of golden horns along the side. These butterflies reproduce year-round throughout most of their range, with multiple generations occurring in a single year. So most don't live longer than a year. Those born around winter overwinter. Adult malachite butterflies spend their days eating and their nights resting, once again, on the underside of leaves. They often gather in small groups while they sleep. When their wings are open, the green blends in with the surrounding foliage. And when they're closed, the brown and green on the side of their wings gives off the appearance of a dying leaf, so they have fantastic camouflage. For more facts on the malachite butterfly, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.